Hello, good evening. Good night, teacher. Hello, Francisca. Good evening. How are you today? Thanks. Thanks. And you? I'm very good. Thanks for asking me. And tell me, how are you? Hello, good evening. Good, good evening, teacher. Hi. Ah, okay, Thank that's excellent. How was your day today? Was it busy? Excellent, stressful. How was your day? So, so, teacher. Doctor, so, so, it was doctor. Ay, más o menos. Did you have a lot of work? And what about yesterday? Did you enjoy your day yesterday? ¿Qué tal estuvo el día de ayer? ¿Lo disfrutaron? ¿Descansaron bastante? Yes, teacher. That is excellent. Very good. And hello, okay. Mauricio. Good evening. Hello, Mauricio. Good evening. How are you tonight? Hello, good evening. I'm fine. Ah, okay. Um, it's really good to know that you are fine today. That is excellent. So welcome to the class again. It's a pleasure to be with you this night. And today we are going to study, let's see, a review of the final exam. Have you already finished the platform exercises in section number five? And also, did you take the exam there? ¿Terminaron la sección 5 en la plataforma y del examen? ¿Cómo van con eso? ¿Did you finish? Eh, your microphone, Italia. I finished, teacher. Oh, you have already finished. That is excellent. And what about you, Mauricio? Did you finish? Terminaron la sección 5 y el examen final. Uh, tomorrow is the last day right, for you to complete the platform. Um, before the class, you must have been complete that. Usted debe haber completado esa sección, ¿verdad? la sección número 5 y también el examen final. So I hope that you have already done in tonight's class, we are going to study this. We are going to have a review of the final exam test. We are going to study some exercise that you find there. And let's see. Let's start then. And yesterday, we were studying yes, no question, and also that beautiful question, right? We did a was and also with where. That was yesterday's topic. So let's start with a review of these questions. Remember that we have two types of questions. Tenemos dos tipos de preguntas. Una es yes, no question. In Spanish, we say preguntas cerradas because we say yes or we say no. And also we have information question in which we use the WH word to get information, to ask for information. Then with the verb to be, con el verbo to be in simple past, we have was and where at the beginning of the question. Let's see, for example, Idalia, mm -hmm. were you angry yesterday? Were you angry yesterday, Idalia? That is a yes, no question, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I had a great day yesterday. Ah, okay, so you weren't angry, right? So you say, were no. you angry? Then you say, no, I wasn't. No, no I, I was, wasn't. No, I wasn't, teacher. Okay, excellent. So, Ana Yasmin, were you happy yesterday? Were you 
were you happy yesterday? Yes, was. Okay. Yes, excellent. I was. Yes, I was. Excellent. So then you say yes, right? Ahora la pregunta where were you yesterday? Where were you yesterday? Now it's no a yes no question, right? It's an information question. Where were you yesterday? ¿Dónde estuvo ayer? Ah, ok. Eh, I was with my mother. Ok. Very good. But very good try, but that is not the answer. Because where is asking for a place? Where were you yesterday? It means, ¿dónde estuviste ayer? Pues preguntando por un lugar. Esa pregunta, where, ¿dónde? Then you say, I was at home. I was at my mother's house. I was at the lake. I was at the park. So for a place. For a place, right? Um, now, la respuesta que usted me dio, Ana Yasmin, es para who. Ay, who were with okay, you entonces, yesterday? Entonces sería, I was my mother's house. Excellent. I was at my mother's house. That is a nice answer for that question. So remember this, right? Yes, no question, and also information questions. Eso es con el verbo to be. Con los otros verbos, las yes, no questions son con el auxiliar did. Did you celebrate Mother's Day? Then you say, yes, I did, or no, I didn't. Let's see, Marlos, Marlon Guzmán, did you celebrate Mother's Day yesterday? Yes, I, I was... Yes, I was. Mm, yes, I was. Mm, ok. Esa es una buena respuesta cuando estamos utilizando el verbo to be. En este caso, el verbo es celebrate. Did you celebrate yesterday? O did you celebrate Mother's Day yesterday? Entonces, la respuesta uh, es yes. Okay. I, I celebrated I celebrate the Mother's Day yesterday. Ok, excellent. Very good answer now. Recuerden que con los otros verbos, que no es el verbo to be, utilizamos did para hacer la pregunta y para responder. Then you say, did you celebrate Mother's Day yesterday? Then you say, yes, I did. Or no, I didn't. Eh, ok, teacher, thank you. Ok, very good, very good try. Thank you, Marlon. Eh, can you listen me well? ¿Me escuchan bien o me escuchan cortado? Sí, un poco sí. cortado, teacher. Yo lo escucho bien. Yo también lo escucho bien, teacher. Ah, ok. Bueno, it must be your internet connection. Let me see. No, the red is very good. I don't know what is happening there. It must be your internet. Then. Um, ok, so don't forget that, right? Uh, what did you do yesterday? What did you do yesterday? Esa es una pregunta de información. Ya no me puedes decir, yes, I did. No, I didn't. You have to give me information. Some activities that you did yesterday. Carmen Elena, what did you do yesterday? Um, I was... Um, Cook. I was cook. Um, I was cooking. I was cooking. Estaba cocinando. Ok, en ese caso no sí. necesita el was, ¿verdad? Porque cook es un verbo por sí solo. Entonces, I cooked. De una vez el verbo ha pasado. Ah. Yo cociné. I cooked. No necesitamos el was. So, I okay. cooked. I cleaned my house, I studied, I worked, I... O sea, cuando sea como bien cerradita la, la respuesta, <coughs> digamos, no, pero que lleve no. el verbo. Ajá, es como el, la pregunta no era con el verbo to be, but solo era, what uh -huh. did you do yesterday? ¿Qué actividades uh -huh. realizó ayer? ¿Qué hizo ayer? Ah, sí, entonces, ajá. Entonces, eso en la lista. I listen to music. I watch television. I stay home. I clean my house. I dance. 
I celebrate uh, Mother's Day. I went to the beach. Ok. Entonces, el verbo de una vez en pasado. Si la pregunta es con el verbo to be, entonces respondemos con el verbo to be. Ok. Ok, okay teacher. Ok, bueno, eso es lo que hemos estado estudiando durante estos días, ¿verdad? Bueno, acerca del simple past tense. So, let's continue practicing this tense. And let's start with this review of the final exam. But let's solve the next exercise before to start with the final exam review. Just give me a second. I am sharing with you my screen. Can you see it? Final exam review. That is the topic for today. Welcome to the class 15. Can you see my screen? Yes, teacher. Oh, thank you so much. Then let's start with this exercise, matching exercise. Match the question with the answer and then compare with the partner. And la segunda parte no vamos a hacer. Just match the question with the answer. Let's see number one. When and where were you born? And then we have the answer. There is an example. This letter C, the answer. I was born in 1983 in Hiroshima, Japan. So the second one, where did you grow up? What letter C? <clears throat> in the letter second. C? Letter C is number one. And the second, where did you grow up? I was born. Mm. The second question, where did you grow up? In the answer, mm. I, have, I was six. She was really shy. I was born in 1983 in Hiroshima, Japan. Her name was Yumiko. My English wasn't very good. I grew up in... Ah, number, number two is a little F. Ah, okay, excellent. Now, I entered my first grade in 1989. It was a little scary. It was a little scary. Let's see the second one. Yes, it's F, the answer. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Tokyo. The third question, when did you start school? Uh, letter G. Letter G, I entered first grade in 1989. Excellent. That was the right answer. Let's see number four. How old were you then? What's the answer for question number four? Little, little C. Little A. Little, little, little A. E. A. And letter A. Letter. Letter A. Let's see. Yes, you are right. Letter A is the answer. Let's see with number five. How was your first day at school? How was your first day at school? Of school? Little Sorry. B. Little B. A little B. She was really shy. Mm, let's try no. another answer. <clears throat> no. It's um, uh, age. age. Little H. Little see. H. Little H. Yes. How was your first day of school? Age. It was a little scary. And let's see number six. How was your first friend in school? Letter B. His number is uh, letter, letter B. Oh, uh, letter B. D. D. Her, letter D. Was Jumiko. Sure? D. Her name ah, was okay. Jumiko. Okay. Letter D, you say D. D. Okay. D. Letter, letter D. D. What was he or she like? In this case, what was she Letter like? B. She was really, really B. shy. She was really shy. shy. Really shy. She was really shy. Very good. And finally, why did you take this class? Letter E. Letter E. Because my English wasn't my very good. My English wasn't very good. Very good. Excellent answer. Thank you. Yes. Those are the answers for this question. Are these yes no question or information question? Information question. Excellent answer, thank you. I need to volunteer to practice in this part. 
one to read the equation and another one to read the answers. Who wants to try? Anybody wants to participate at this time in this exercise? Me, teacher, Me teacher. I want teacher. to Thank you, Carmen and Marlon, right? Yes. Okay, Carmen, can you please read the question and Marlon the answers? Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. When and where were you born? I was born in 1983 in Hiroshima, Japan. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Tokyo. When did you start school? I entered first grade in 1989. How old were you then? I was six. How was your first day of school? I was a little scary. Who was your first friend in school? Her name was Yumiko. What was he or she like? She was really shy. Why did you take this class? Finish the chair. Faltó um, una. My English wasn't very good. My, my English was, wasn't very good. Okay, because my English wasn't very good. Excellent job. Thank you, Carmen. Thank you, Marlon. And also, tell me. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, so okay. you did a great job in this part. Um, How do you pronounce this number again? <clears throat> how do you say this number in English? Good evening, teacher. Hello, Gabriel. Good evening. It's 1983. Okay, Kevin, 1983. Ah, just go check it out. 1983. That is not correct. 90 is 90. So 1983. In 19 yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. The rest was yes. excellent. Thank you so much. So let's go with the next exercise here. Ta, 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 ta. El último que escriba en el chat, hello teacher, va a comenzar a responder estas preguntas. So you have to write hello teacher. Veamos quién es el último. Internet, question about internet. Question number one, did you send any emails an hour ago? Did you watch, did you chat online yesterday? Did you watch any videos on the internet yesterday? Let's see who's the last one. Ah, ya se salvó, veamos, Ana Lucía, Marlon, Delvin, Ángel, Kevin, Mauricio, Raúl, anybody after Raúl. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. I'm sorry, Raúl, you were the last one. Raúl fue el último. Okay, can you please answer this question? <clears throat> Let's see, Kevin, can you help me read the question for Raúl, please? Okay, teacher. Um, did you send any emails one hour ago? No. No, it wasn't. Okay. Si fuera con el verbo to be, esa respuesta está muy bien. Pero en este caso estamos utilizando el auxiliar did. El verbo sería send. Entonces, respond, la respuesta tiene que ser con el auxiliar did, right? So, you say, yes, I did, or no, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Second question, Kevin, please. Did you chat online yesterday? Yes, I did. And did finally, you watch? Okay. Did you watch any videos on the internet yesterday? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Excellent. Very good job. 
Thank you, Raúl. Raúl, can you please give me a number from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven? Number eleven. Number eleven. Okay, let me see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mauricio, you are number eleven. Let's see in the next. <clears throat> Can you please answer the following question, Mauricio? Mauricio, did you read a book last month? No, I didn't. No, you didn't. Okay, excellent. Well, as, as you say not, ya no le puedo preguntar las otras. So, did you read the book last month? <laughs> <laughs> what was it about? Era la siguiente pregunta de qué se trató. Did you like it? Si le gustó. ¿Y por qué? As you say, no, I didn't. No, no leí ningún libro el mes pasado. Pues, anyway, no more question. Thank you, Mauricio. Thank you so much. Let's go with the next one. Any volunteer to answer this one? Sport. Ah, okay, let's see. Veamos el último que escribe en el chat. I am happy today. El último que escriba esa oración va a responder las siguientes preguntas. I am happy today. Don't be the last one. Ana Lucía ya lo escribió. Carmen tú, Marlon. Hey, Angel Portillo, yes, I am happy today. Solo que today va unido, but it's okay. Hey, I am happy today. Ana Yasmin, Gabriel, say, I am happy today. Yes, that is excellent. And Mauricio, I am happy today. Let's see who is the last one. Nobody after Mauricio. One, two, three, four, five. I'm sorry, Mauricio, nobody write for you, so, see, I mean, after you. So, Mauricio, can you please answer this question? Did you go jogging in the morning? Ah, all of them yeah. are just no question. So, you have to say, yes, I did, or no, I didn't. Did you go jogging in the morning? No, I didn't. Did you go skiing last winter? No, I didn't. Did you swim last summer? Repeat, please. Did you swim last summer? Yes, I did. Did you train yesterday? No, I didn't. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. Let me see. Any volunteer to answer the next question? Who wants, who wants to participate? Who wants me to practice? Teacher. Oh, thank you, Carmen. Let me see. Da, da, da. Here we go. Birthday. Where did you celebrate your last birthday? Um, this, this is an information question. It's asking for a place. Um, I did my. I celebrate. I, I did. I celebrate my, my birthday. And in Caltepec. Is that a restaurant? It's, it's a restaurant. Okay, excellent. Very good. How many friends did you invite? Mm, only one. Excellent answer. What present did you get? What present did you get? In Spanish, teacher. Okay, excellent. Uh, gift. What gift did you get? What gift um, did you receive? Uh, hmm. mm, flowers. Okay. Flowers um, and? 
en cartera, no sé cómo se dice. Only that. <laughs> eh, what did you eat and drink? Um, I eat, eat or eat? I ate. Ate. I ate eh, pupusas and drank eh, chocolate. Chocolate, excellent answer. Thank you so much. <laughs> excellent job in this part. Let's go with the next question for Delmi. Delmi, did you go shopping last week? Delmi, did you go shopping last week? That is a yes no question. Did you go shopping this week? You say yes, I did. No, I didn't. Did you go shopping this week? Um, Anybody wants to help tell me? Uh, Did you? Fisher? Yes. Yes. Uh, yes, I did. Uh, I, I, I went chopper. I went chopper. Uh, did last you week. go shopping? Ah, last week. Um, I went. I went chopper. Yes, yes, I did. Okay, excellent. Yes, I did. What did you buy? What did um, you buy? This I bought. I I bought a gift for for my mother. Excellent answer. Did you go shopping alone? Did, did you, you go shopping? shopping? Si fui sola, eh, verdad? Yes. And no. No, I went with my husband. Excellent answer. Thank you. How much did you spend? Uh, um, um, I don't know. No, no, no recuerdo. I don't remember. Oh, you don't remember how much you spent. Okay. <clears throat> no quiere que sepamos que le regaló. <laughs> <laughs> Una refri, quizás. Okay, excellent, very good. Okay, let me see. Gabriel, did you go shopping last week? Uh, yes, I did. What um, did you buy? I bought um, the, the uh, balls. How do you say balls? Backpack? Backpack. Backpack. Uh, I bought. I bought. Backpack. Did you go shopping alone? Uh, yes, I. Uh, yes, I did. Uh, yes, I did. How much did you spend? I spent um, uh, eighty dollars. Eighty dollars. Okay, excellent. Can you please ask this question to? Puede preguntarle a Francisca y Dalia, please. Gabriel, can you ask the question to Francisca? Okay. Did you go shopping last week, Francisca? Uh, yes. I went shopping last week. Uh, what, do you, what do you buy? Uh, what do you buy? I bought I bought I Cartera, no sé cómo. How do you say cartera? Ampurs. Ampurs. Regalos, no sé. Present. Did you go shopping alone? Did you go shopping? Did you go shopping alone? Yes. 
Pues sola. Y fui sola, ¿verdad? Eh, did, ¿Cómo es? Did, did, I, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. En the last question. Uh, how, much did, how much did you spend? Mm, eh, I, I creo, sería spend, ¿verdad? Yes, I spend. I spend, I spend eh, eh, digamos, $25. $25, excellent answer. Thank you. Let's see, how's work? Oh, all of the night, just no question. Look at this. Ana Lucia, did you clean your room last Friday? Did you clean your room last Friday? Yes, I did. Yes, you did. Excellent. Did you water any plants yesterday? Mm, no, I didn't. Did you iron yesterday? Yes, I did. Yes, you did. Okay. El traje, cuando le iban a llevar a cenar. Excellent. Sí, planchó ayer. Okay, let's see. Yes. <laughs> let's see, Angel. Did you clean your room last Friday? Ángel Portillo, did you clean your room last Friday? Mauricio, did you clean your room last Friday? Ángel, tell me. Ángel, did you clean your room last Friday? Yes, I did. Okay, excellent. Did you water any plants yesterday? Regó las plantitas ayer. No, yes, no, I didn't. Didn't. no, you didn't. Did you iron yesterday? Did you iron yesterday? No. No, you no, didn't. didn't. Okay, then let's go with Mauricio. Mauricio, did you clean your room last Friday? Where's Mauricio? Sorry, teacher. No, la, la señal. Okay, don't worry about that. Did you clean your room last Friday, Mauricio? Mm, no, I didn't. Did you water any plants yesterday? No, I didn't. I, I don't. I don't know uh, plants. Uh, I don't have plants. I don't have. I don't have. Okay, I don't have plans. Did you iron yesterday? No, I don't. No, I didn't. I didn't, but no. Okay, don't worry. It's okay. Thank you so much. Let me see this one. Carmen, did you drink three cups of coffee yesterday? Yes, no question. Did you drink three cups of coffee Ooh, yesterday? Sí, teacher. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Okay, excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, Ana Lucia, what did you eat two hours ago? Now, this is the information question. What did you eat two hours ago? Yes, I did. Mm, no, mm, really. no, really. Tiene que dar información. ¿Qué comió hace mm. dos horas? <clears throat> That's the meaning of uh, the question. Um, una pupusa loca, no sé cómo decirlo. <laughs> pupusa crazy. <laughs> una pupusa crazy. Crazy pupusa. Crazy pupusa. I ate, I ate a crazy I, I pupusa. Ate crazy pupusa. Okay. And coffee, and coffee. And a cup of coffee. Very good. Did your mom cook yesterday? Who wants to answer the next one? Did your mom cook yesterday? Teacher, perdón, que es muy... No. Um, did your mom, Mama? your mother, did your no. mother cook ah, yesterday? No, didn't. Ah, ok, aquí estamos hablando de una tercera persona, entonces utilizamos she. Yes, she did, no, or no, she, she didn't. didn't. No, she, no didn't. she didn't. Did you eat any fish last week? Ah, this is one is for you. Did no. you eat any fish last week? 
No hay vida en el cielo. No hay vida en el cielo. Bueno, solo para Semana Santa como pescado. That's right. And finally, Vacation. TV. On vacation. So, did you watch TV yesterday? Did yes, you I watch did. TV yesterday? Yes, I did. Yes, you did. What yes, did I you did. watch? What did you watch? I watched a movie. I watched... Mm -hmm. I watch. A... I watch a movie. Player basket. Oh, a basketball game. I watch a basketball, a basketball game. Basketball game. Okay. Yes. Later versus Warrior. Uh, who was the winner? Warrior. Okay, the Warrior team was the winner. Very good. So, thank you so much for your answer in this question. Don't forget this. Si la pregunta es con did, recuerde responder yes, I did, o no, I didn't. Si es una yes, no question. Si es una information question, for example, what did you watch? Entonces agarramos el verbo y decimos I watch a movie, I watch cartoons, I watch a soap opera. I watch a series. I watch a soccer I watch game. A series. So now look at the next one. What was it about? De qué se trató el programa que vio. Entonces aquí es con el verbo to be. Entonces respondo con el verbo to be. It was about uh, a soccer match between the Real Madrid and the Manchester City. So that's it. Entonces, si es con did, respondo con did. Si es con el verbo to be, respondemos con el verbo to be. Don't forget about that, please. That is important. And let's continue to, uh, with the next one. Okay, we are going to listen and we are going to answer this question. Question number one, where are Helen and Mark going? Where are Helen and Mark going? So pay attention to the listening. One. Hey, Mark. Can One. you listen? Hey, Mark. Can yes. you listen? Yes, yes. teacher. Yes, I can. Okay. Listen. Yes, teacher. It's asking for a place. Where are Helen and Mark going? Hey, Mark. Where are you going? Oh, my father's birthday is on Saturday. I need to buy him a present, so I'm going to Smith's department store. Are you going to drive there? No, I don't have any gasoline in the car. I'm going to walk. You know, I need to go to the bank. It's not far from Smith's. Can I come with you? Sure. Okay, where are they going? Where are Helen and Mark going? First, a bank and a department a bank store. It needs to the department <laughs> sp uh, store. Okay, it's me, the department store, and she's going to the bank. Excellent, thank you. Let's see the second. Where is Smith department store? So where, where is Smith department store? Two. Uh-oh, I think we're lost. Where's Smith's department store? I'm not sure. I usually drive there. Do you know where it is? No, not really. Well... I think it's on 2nd Street. No, it's not. We're on 2nd Street now. I think it's on Main. You're right. It's on the corner of 1st and Main. What is this mid department store? On the corner of 1st and Main. Okay, excellent. On the corner of 1st and Main. Okay, let's see the transcript of this conversation. Uh-oh. I think... That is the first one. Hey, Mark, where are you going? Oh, my father's birthday is on Saturday. I need to buy a peanut a present. So I am going to Smith Department Store. Very good. You were right. Smith Department Store. Are you going to drive there? No, I don't have any gasoline in the car. I'm going to walk. You know, I need to go to the bank. It's not far from Smith. Can I come with you? Sure. And the second one, oh, oh, I think we're lost. We are, 
where is Smith Department Store? I'm not sure. I usually drive there. Do you know where it is? No, not really. Well, I think it's on Second Street. No, it's not. We are on Second Street now. I think it's on Main. You're right. It's on the corner of First and Main. So we don't need to practice in the first conversation. Me teacher, please. Me teacher. <laughs> please. Thank you. I have <laughs> Carmen and... Who say me? Ana Yasmin, you? Yes. Okay. Y Francisca en la segunda, please. So let's start. Helen. Carmen, you're going to read Helen part. And Ana Yasmin, you're going to read Mark's part. Let's start. Okay, teacher. Hey, Mark. Where are you going? I'm sorry. What I did. Four. Three. What um, are you going to buy for your father? So how do we get there I'm from not here? Sure. Well, sorry, we're sorry. On... That is not. <laughs> uh, this is. Okay. Oh, my father's birthday is on Super Saturday. I need you to buy him a present. So I am going to Smith's department store. Aren't you going to drive there? No, I don't have any gasoline in the car. I don't have work. You know, I need to go to the bank. It's not far, far, far from. Smith, can I come with you? So. Sure. Sure. Excellent. Thank you so much. Very good job. Thank you, teacher. Let's go with the second one. Yes. Any volunteer? I have Francisca and... Me, coach. Oh, thank you so much. So let's start. Gabriel, right? Okay. Oh, um, I think we are lost. Where is Smith department store? Hi, not sure. I usual try there. Do you know where it is? No, not really. Well, I think it's on Second Street. No, it is not. We are on Second Street now. I think it's uh, on Main. You are right. It's on the corner of First and Main. Wow, that was excellent. Thank you. Perfect job. Very good pronunciation. Thank you. Let's go with the next listening. Listening number three. How do you get to Smith Department Store? What is the meaning of this question? We study this in section number three, I guess. How do you get to Smith Department Store? What's the meaning of the question? What's the meaning of this question? How do you get to Smith Department Store? ¿Se acuerdan de esa pregunta? How do I get to the bank? How do I get to the church? How do I get to the post office? How do you get? Yes, teacher. What's the meaning? ¿Cómo se llega a la ¿Cómo? tienda de... Uh -huh. Okay, ¿Cómo llegar al lugar? Ok, excelente. ¿Cómo llego a Smith Department Store? And the second question is, what is Mark going to buy? That is future, right? What is Mark going to buy? ¿Qué va a comprar? So let's listen. Three. Sweater. Sweater. Um, so how do we get there from here? Well, we're on second now, right? Yeah. So we just walk up second to Main. Are you sure? Yes. Then we turn right. It's down the street on the left. So how do you get to Smith Department Store? Please listen again. Get to Main. Are you sure? Yes, teacher, please. Yes. Then we turn Okay, let's listen again. We're on second now, right? Yeah. So we just walk up second to Main. Are you sure? Yes, then we turn right. It's down the street on the left. Okay, so how do you get to Smith Department Store? 
Walk up second to May. To yes. write. To write. Mm -hmm. And then. Turn right. Turn right. Main. Turn right. Yes. Then we turn right. It's down the street on the left. It's down the street on the left. Very good try. And that's the next question. Four. What are you going to buy for your father? I'm not sure. Maybe a tie? Oh, no. Not a tie. No? Then what? How about a nice sweater? Look at these sweaters here. Oh, they are nice. I think I'll get him one. Thanks. What is Mark going to buy? A tie or a sweater? A sweater. A sweater. A sweater. Four. Three. What are you um, going to buy for your father? So how do we get there from here? Well, Okay, we're... that is the time, please. Mm, double until to practice in the first. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you. Let's see, Marlon. Kevin and Marlon in the first one. Yes, teacher. Let's start. Who is teacher. A and B? Uh, Kevin is A. Marlon B. Okay. Okay. Okay, Marlon. Hmm. So how to get there from here? Well, we are on second now, right? Yeah. Well, we just walk up second to Main. Are you sure? Yes. Then we turn right. It's down the strip on the left. On the left. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent. Okay. That was excellent job. Very good. Now let's listen. Let's listen. <laughs> Carlos David, can you? And Raúl Edgardo. Carlos David, can you please? Yes. yes. And... Let's listen. Raúl, can you listen to me? Okay, teacher. And Carlos David, can you listen? Can you please practice in this conversation? Carlos, you are A and Raúl, you are B. Where's Carlos? Okay, let me see. Any other volunteer to practice with Ricardo? Me, coach. I can help you. Thank you. Thank you, Gabriel. Let's listen, Gabriel and Ricardo. Then, Gabriel, you are A and Ricardo, you are B. Let's start. Okay. What are you going to buy for two or Okay. Let's start. I'm sorry for that. Okay. What did you want to buy for your father? Ricardo? I guess he has problem with the internet or something like that. So anyone until to practice with Gabriel? Me, teacher. Me, teacher. Oh, who say me first? I guess what's was Kevin. Thank so, you. Gabriel, let's start again, okay. Gabriel. Okay. Uh, what are you going to buy for your father? I'm not sure. Maybe a tie. Oh, no. No a tie. No, then what? How about a nice sweater? Look at the, uh, this sweater here. Oh, these are nice. I think I'll get it one. Thank you. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. And that is the listening in the final exam. Is it difficult or easy? So, so, teacher. So, so. Okay, now let's remember this. Do you remember about the preposition of place? Oh, 
place? Which are the preposition of place? Um, on, that uh, is between, one, on, between, next to, between, next to, next to, next to across, across from, from, across from, across from, 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 Excellent. Excellent. Those are phrases for giving that example. Take a look at this picture and tell me where is Jostin? Where is Jostin? Using preposition of place. Where is Jostin? I can see John C. Teacher. Joyce Jean. Joyce Jean is. Joe Jean is on Main Street. Excellent sentence. Joe Jean is on Main Street. Yes, that's right. Uh, any other preposition that I can use to locate Joe Jean? Joe Jean. Is next to post office. Josephine is next to the post office. To yes, uh -huh. yes, that is a good sentence. Next to the post office. Can I use another one? Uh, like behind or between. Josephine is across to the park. park. Excellent. It's across from the park. That is another good sentence. Me hace falta una. Josephine is between between post office and all days the part of the store. Excellent. That was excellent. Thank you. Where is the first national bank? And across Prince. Princess. Across from grocery, princess, grocery store. Across. Across. It's next to. Next to. It's next to, yes. It's next to. It's next to Princess Grocery Store. Very good job. Thank you. And where is France Cafe? Where is France Cafe? Frank Cafe is in the corner of Maple Avenue and L Strip. Almost perfect. On, on the corner of. You say in. It's on the corner ah, okay. of Maple Avenue and yeah, L Strip. On the corner. Okay, Excellent. teacher, thank you. And also teacher, we can say, yes? Teacher, it's the, the Frank Cafe. Coffee is uh, next to Jane Jamison Jameson Hotel. Okay, excellent. Frank's Cafe is next to Jameson Hotel. Very good. And where is the gas station? Gas station is next to um, next to public library. Okay, the library. gas is the gas, gas station is the gas the public station, library. The, the in of Fifth National Bank. Yes, we can say that. The gas station is behind, behind. Behind the First National Bank. Okay, no problem with using the prepositions. Do you have any question about them? Remember, they are next to, on the corner of, behind, across from, between. In front of, you can use in front of to. Simple past question and answer. Can you tell me the answer for number one? Were your parents born in the US? What is the answer? Were your parents born in the US? No. No, they, they wasn't. Weren't. Weren't. No, Thank you. Okay, no, they were They were born in El Salvador. Second question, where did you grow up? Where did you grow up? 
I grew up in El Salvador. Salvador. I grew up in El Salvador. In this case, I have in San Miguel. I grew up in San Miguel. Uh, who was the first English teacher? My favorite English teacher was Mr. Colin. Colin. <laughs> Excellent. That is the answer. Very good. And when did you come to New York? Did you come to New York? Never, teacher. <laughs> Never. Never. <laughs> Never teacher. In the example is... Dia. Ah, yes, Sunday. Sunday you are going to live there in New York. <laughs> Sunday. Sunday. Sunday, right? I'm pretty sure of that. If you can believe, you can do it. Let okay. us see. Let us see the answer. In this case, I came to New York in 2010. And how was your first day in the U.S.? What is the answer in the number five? Number uh, letter D. Letter number D. one is letter D. Number one is letter D, yes. The second one is letter A. The third one is letter E. Four is C and five B. You are going to find this question in the final exam, right? So don't forget about this question and answers. Then let me see, just to finish this class, we are going to read this paragraph. And you want to read this, a sequence of events. <clears throat> Anybody hey, wants? Teacher. Thank you so much. Let's start. Yesterday, my wife, my wife, and I went to a restaurant. It was a romantic evening, but at 11 o'clock, the lights went out. We had a lot of screen. We didn't know what to do. We were, we wanted to, wanted to go out. Suddenly, a man appear, appeared and say, stay there. He was a thief. He had a gun in his in his hand. There was another man beside beside him. We we have then our money. After ten minutes, the police arrived, and they caught the thief. Thief, but we never recovered our money. Thank you. Now let's see a look of this sequence of events. First event, my wife and I went to a restaurant. And we say it was a romantic evening, but 11 o'clock, the lights went out. Second event, the lights went out. Las luces se apagaron. Then next, we heard a lot of screams. Escuchamos muchos ruidos. We didn't know what to do. No sabíamos qué hacer. We wanted to go out. Suddenly, a man appeared and said, stay there. He was a thief. He had a gun in his hands. Él dijo, quédense ahí, ¿verdad? Era un ladrón. Él tenía una pistola en sus manos. Yep. <laughs> there was another man beside him. Había otro hombre, ¿verdad? A par de él. We gave them our money. After 10 minutes, the police arrived. Uh, después de 10 minutos, the police arrived and they caught the thief. Y atramparon a los ladrones, but we never recovered our money. Pero nunca recuperamos our nuestro money. dinero. Bueno, esas cosas solo pasan en Estados Unidos. Aquí le devuelven <laughs> todo. No pierden nada. In El Salvador, you don't lose your money. Now, sequence of events, right? And now, let's take a look at this information and answer this question. Question number one, what did this happen? When did this happen? Cuando sucedió? Uy. Ah, I'll take a look again at the reading. Please, when teacher. When did this happen? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 11 o'clock. 
Ah, uh, okay, let's see the answer. Yesterday. Yesterday. It happened yesterday. 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 What happened yesterday. time was it when the lights went out? 11 o'clock. It was 11 o'clock. Excellent. What was did they the want to do then? Morning. What, <laughs> what did they want to do then? We want... They want, they want money. They want money? Mm, look at the question. What did they want to do then? ¿Qué querían hacer las personas? Dinner. Ah, yes. They... We want to go out. Ah, okay. Want we want to go out. They wanted to go out, yes. Who was the man that appeared? The police. Who was, no, un hombre, who was the man that appeared? Let's go. Who was the man that appeared? Um, yes. He was... He was a thief. Very good. He was a thief. Era un ladrón. What did the people get the thief? What did the people get the thief? ¿Qué le dieron las personas a los ladrones? Uh, money. Very, very, your money. Very money. Very money. Very money. And did the police catch catch the thief? Did the police catch the thief? Yes, they did. Excellent. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. That is the answer. Okay. Bueno, um, en el examen final hay un ejercicio parecido, ¿verdad? Hay una lectura de Ricky Martin, I guess. Uh, it is about Ricky Martin, and then you are going to see the sequence of events. Right? Since he was a child until he became a famous artist. Desde que era un niño hasta que se convirtió en un artista famoso. And then you are going to solve some questions about this. So that was the final exam. Ese era el examen final. Eh, ¿Lo hizo? Yes, sir. Uh, yes, se van a quedar ahora después de la clase haciendo el examen final. No, ya lo hice. No, el fin de semana. El fin de semana lo hice, teacher. Ya terminé. Ah, okay. That is excellent. You have already finished. Bueno, si no lo ha hecho, tiene mañana hasta antes de la clase, ¿verdad? Para terminar todo lo de la plataforma. ¿Se acuerdan la primera semana que les dije? Tienen que ir trabajando la plataforma. Si no, nos vamos a desvelar el último día. Eh... Bueno, espero que si sí hayan ido trabajando su plataforma, porque el día de mañana, antes de la última clase, debe de estar terminado todo. ¿Ok? Ok. Thank you, teacher. Bueno, si les hace falta, ahora okay. pueden avanzar. Y... Teacher, mañana hay clase entonces. Yes, tomorrow we have classes. Mañana okay, vamos teacher. a recuperar la clase de las fotos de ayer. Ok. Y mañana terminamos. We finish this English course, so... Thank you so much for being here with me tonight and see you tomorrow in our last bye, class. Don't bye. miss the class. Bye. Bye, bye teacher. See you, you tomorrow. Bye, teacher. Bye. See you tomorrow, teacher. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow, teacher. Bye.